Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 76 News. So, there's been a wave of negative news regarding Bethesda and Fallout 76, so I thought maybe today I would focus on something a little bit more positive. So, there's been a lot of talk about the Bethesda quote-unquote radio silence, right? A lot of people said, where's Bethesda? Why are they not talking to us? And a lot of people answered that by saying, well, it's a holiday weekend, so a lot of people are probably out for the holidays so we're gonna have to wait and see whether or not after the holidays they tr start being more like open with their communications and try to like contact us and see what they're planning for the future what is the future of file 76 and we gotta say it's been a day but they had an official communication that says communication moving forward from Bethesda and uh, this is the official Bethesda Game Studios account on Reddit so they say hi we know you're frustrated and angry at the state of things right now whether it's the issue you're running into in the game or the lack of communication about fixes updates or news to be clear this account is run by us Bethesda Game Studios community team yesterday we posted to let you know that we're still here gathering your feedback and more importantly working to get info from the team we can share we didn't want you to think the silence meant nothing was happening we're sorry and understand this was not the right approach and we'll work to make a better bridge between you and the dev team at BGS. So based on this, I imagine the way it works is that uh, the community team gets the feedback from the community, then places that feedback in the form of tickets to the dev team so they can address that, and they go to the dev team and ask what they're working on, and then they probably ask what can be shared with the community because I imagine there's a lot of things that they're working on that they don't want to reveal because maybe things don't pan out, maybe they don't work. So there's a lot of things that has to be kept under wraps, but it seems like the community team is here to really be the bridge between the community and the dev team. And hopefully they're going to continue to share this sort of like insight with us because for what I can tell, they are just working on collecting feedback but obviously they're not posting everything so from our perspective it seems as if nothing's happening but they're just working silently you know and this sort of like update is great for us because at least we know something's being done so they go on to explain that they're gonna release an article with further information about the upcoming updates that were mentioned in a post a few weeks ago and they also say that they plan to release these articles with patch notes with just quality of life um, notifications and updates on a weekly basis which is great because these articles were kind of like like few and far in between and a lot of information from the patches were not included in the articles um, most notably the removal of the fps caps on servers was not part of the patch notes so i think this honest type of feedback here and this honest type of communication from bethesda it's very good for them because it sort of like adds that human element they're saying look we are the communications team, this account is run by us, and we are in charge of being the bridge between you guys and the dev team. The dev team is not gonna come here and get the feedback. We are gonna do it, and we are the ones who also write the patch notes for you. So they're basically a two-way street. They're basically giving us information from the dev team, and they're giving the dev team information from us. So it seems like they're trying to be honest here. They're saying, look, we fucked up. We focused too much on gathering information, but we didn't give you guys any feedback as to what we were doing. So you guys thought that maybe nothing was happening and that's on us. So that's a great thing. Anyway, this post also has a lot of details in regards to upcoming updates. So this is basically a roadmap detailing all the updates and all the things that they want to address in the coming weeks and through the end of the year. So they have the December 4th update. Next week's update will bring an increase to the stash limit as well as a variety of performance and stability improvements balance changes and multiple bug fixes to the game we'll have full patch notes available later this week ahead of time uh, some notable issues being addressed in this update include the stash limit is being increased to 600 yay clap multiple claps hell yeah dude all right it's not as big as we thought it would be but they're saying they're planning to increase it even further in the future there's just gonna do this first step just to make sure that it doesn't negatively impact the stability of the game so it's a good first step dude 
let's give him some positive feedback. Come on, guys. Come on. Just some positive feedback right here, all right? There's a lot of players who are just giving Bethesda a lot of crap, and I understand, but let's also remember that Bethesda is made up of human beings, all right? And I'm sure the engineers and the dev team is not... I'm sure they're not happy with the results either. I'm sure their dream is to make a freaking awesome game, so... I'm mad at the freaking direction of the game, not at the people who are at the bottom coding, right? So let's just keep that in mind and give them some freaking good feedback. This is good. All right, this is a good first step. So let's move on. Boss loot. Players should correctly receive two to three items after taking down a boss, depending on the creature's difficulty and level. That's great. Cryolator effects. Players hit with the cryolator are now chilled, frosted, or frozen, depending on how many times they are hit. And basically, the duration of these effects has been decreased from 2 hours to 30 seconds. 2 freaking hours, Jesus Christ. Respawning when over encumbered. We've resolved an issue affecting players who die while over encumbered that only allow them to respawn at Vault 76. Now over encumbered players will be able to respawn at the nearest discovered map marker. I had that bug actually. Um, stuck in power armor. <laughs> We've addressed an issue in this patch that could cause players to become stuck inside a power armor. That's that's terrifying right there. We're also aware that there are some additional cases where this can occur and we're actively investigating them. Holy crap. All right. That's good. And the next update is December 11. So the next update after December the 4th is currently planned for the following week. Like previous patches, it will include a variety of box fixes, but we're also planning to bring some more notable changes and features to the game. You can catch a preview of these improvements below. So PC additions, push to talk. Heck yeah, boy. Heck yeah! They said they were not gonna do it, and now they are bringing push to talk to the game, which is awesome. Now we no longer have to hear people eating Doritos and drinking Mountain Dew, so that's great. 21 by 9 resolution support, that's great for the editors out there. And we also have field of view settings are all being implemented. That's the best update up to this point. Jesus Christ, that's the best technical update that we've had. Push to talk. 21.9 resolution support and field of view that's freaking awesome dude now here's a quality of life improvement a special respec after level 50 you'll be able to choose between a new pair card or moving a special point you had previously allocated that's great camp placement login so basically the issue here was that if you logged into a server where someone built a camp near your camp then your base would not spawn so now you have the option to either choose to spawn there uh, but just have your camp be stored as a blueprint and be able to move it uh, wherever you want or choose a different server where you can for sure um, have your camp spawn in your location so that's freaking great and finally bulldozer so this is a new camp feature that will allow you to remove small trees rocks and other obstructions so it, it's easier to create and place your camp oh my god thank you that's so freaking good. If you guys remember my previous building episode, you remember that I had an issue with a log where I couldn't place a freaking foundation because I had a log right in the middle of my build. So you have to just find a workaround. So now this bulldozer is gonna fix that issue. We're gonna be able to remove rocks, trees, and any sort of like obstruction. So you can build your perfect base, my dude. That's freaking great. And finally, they say thank you and please don't stop letting us know how we can improve our communication and what else needs to be addressed in the game so uh, there's a lot of comments here and a very comprehensive like write up here about a lot of different bugs uh, this is from just a random user so I, I imagine this guy is very invested in the game which is great and the Bethesda game studios actually replied to this gigantic freaking post saying this is incredibly thorough and helpful we're gonna be looking through this um, so this is awesome it seems like the community is coming together to try to make this game what it should have been at release and a lot of the most contentious technical issues that we complained about during the beta and the early days of the game are now being patched in the coming weeks so man i can't wait for them to just just continue to work in this game and make it great it's a possibility that this game might be bethesda's no man's sky 
So within the year, we could see this game become a huge MMO RPG. It could be great. It has the potential. They need to get the technical difficulties out of the way and then focus on content. So I feel like this journey is just getting started. So for those of you who think that maybe the game is dead, maybe it's over, just have a little bit of faith, all right? We know for a fact that Bethesda is capable of creating some great games. So as I said in a previous episode, hopefully this whole debacle shake them out of stasis, you know, and um, now they can really just bring their A game. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, remember to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.